Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to shorten EGT wires so they look all cool like this. Good morning, Kyle from Scram Speed. Uh, this morning I thought I'd do a little video while I'm assembling some EGT ends uh, on my blue car to uh, show you guys how to properly shorten an EGT wire. I had one customer ask me about this recently and I said that maybe I'd make him a video, so so here it is, Dave, this is your video. Um, so I'm shortening these guys up and uh, I didn't know the best way to do it. And uh, Devin Vanderhoof was the one that told me Mad Racing Products makes these ends. This is the same end that's offered on a uh, Holly EGT like this one. Um, it's Omega end. Uh, you can find them at madracingparts.com, uh, I believe is what it is. They sell these guys, they're really inexpensive. They're super nice and cool, but it makes it that way you can shorten an EGT wire. And that's what I'm gonna show you this morning. So the first step is to measure. I'm not gonna go over that because I hope you guys know how to measure your own EGT stuff, but measure it, see what the length is it needs to be cut to. Um, obviously it ends up about there, there's my line. So in the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a piece of cloth tape is what I like using, just a little bitty piece of it. And wrapping it around the side you're gonna keep on your cut mark. Something like that. And then with your best pair of dikes, because you don't want this stuff to fray, cut the end off. Something like that. Now this can go away. Now I'll leave you an end. I'm gonna take the dikes and actually kind of make it a circle again. Just give it a little squish, make it a circle again. Okay. And the next step is to get this little plug onto the wire. But I'm gonna take this guy apart now. It's just two little Phillips screws is all it is. And then this guy comes apart and exposes the two Phillips that the wires go to. But I need to take this little gasket grommet guy. I need to get him on this wire. Now this is a real pain in the ass if you don't use this next method. <clears throat> I'm good at finding tricks, and this is the trick I found. Put it around a drill bit. This is the number 11 drill bit, it's just what I had, but muscle it over the drill bit, like so, okay? Right at the end, like that. And then take your wire, hold it firmly, and go end to end with it, and then press them together just a little bit, and then commit to it and just push it right over. And that gets the grommet over on the first try every time. And then you can take the grommet and slide it all the way down. Get it out of the way. The next step is to take a piece of heat shrink. It's just a one inch piece of uh, eighth inch heat shrink, nothing special. Slide it on, we're gonna use that later. And now that you got your two pieces on, you can take the piece of cloth tape off. and you're ready to strip some wires. So this shielding um, slides back really, really easy. It slides back, you just gotta give it a little, a little grab backwards and it'll expose that brown side. Hold it and just pull it back slightly. Get that stuff out of the way so you can work it. So this brown sheeting is super soft. Um, you need to strip back about five eighths of an inch is what I do. So lay it on a table or a flat surface. Take a razor blade. And go about five eighths of an inch or so right in the middle of it and then press down firmly and slide it straight back and that should cut right in between the two wires there's a red one and a yellow one just like that once you have those exposed take the shielding off it takes me a second because it's a little stuck together this stuff's super soft so you can just tear it right off you don't need to strip it Okay, so now you have a yellow wire and a red wire. Strip both of those. You only need about 3 16 of an inch or so stripped. Not a ton. One. And then that's the other side. There's your two wires. 
Now that you have that done, you can put your EGT end on. You gotta loosen the screws up real quick. And they hooked them on there. Jeez. There we go. Okay. So, negative, positive. The red wire is negative. Slide it in there, slide it in there. I like to put them on the center of the screws if I can, like so. And then tighten it down so it doesn't go nowhere. And these things are really nice. You'll feel when they're tight. Give it a little bit of a twist and we're good. So now that the wires are secured on there, you can pull the shielding back up. Now I've heard of somebody shorting out these two guys by pulling the shielding up and burying it in here and the wires will actually touch. So leave it just a little bit shy. When you pull back up, it should go about to the end of the connector. Take your heat shrink and put it as far up as you can go, like so. And now it's time to heat it up. Now that you got it heated up, give it a couple seconds before you try to slide the grommet up for this heat shrink, uh, the adhesive to kind of cure. Wait till it doesn't burn you anymore. It's a good sign that it's cool enough to go over. You just want it to harden up. If you try to take that grommet and put it up, it'll move the heat shrink, kind of slide it, make it look like crap right here. You want that to have a good seal. So heat shrink's on, looks good. Now it's time to slide the grommet up. and go over the heat shrink. And now you don't want this grommet to be completely to the end to where it goes over the heat shrink or else this will tend to want to pull back. You want to actually get it right on the end of the heat shrink. Just like that, right there. And then push it down. It'll kind of smash itself in there. Take the end, put it on. Screw that one on. That one on. Okay. And now you have an assembled EGT end that's shortened and it looks really good. Looks very similar to the Holly one, other than the piece of yellow uh, marker that it's got on it for the part number, but take that away from it and they look pretty good, right? So that's how to shorten the EGT in. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to Scram Speed. Uh, check out scramspeed.com for all of our parts we have available, but these are available at Mad Racing. Uh, I believe it's madracingparts.com is where you get it at. And uh, thank you, Devin Vanderhoof, for showing me these things. They're super badass. They're going to make my car a lot nicer.